Hey, Ryan here with Thanks.io. I'm going to show you a demo in just a second, but I want to mention first that somewhere on this page, you have the opportunity to schedule a 15-minute consult with myself or one of my partners. What we're going to do is we're going to look at your full marketing mix, everything you're currently doing, and give you some ideas for how Thanks might fit into the picture. In most cases, you can inject Thanks.io into your marketing mix and get results pretty quickly, efficiently, and with very little stress. So go ahead, watch the demo now, and make sure you schedule that 15-minute consult. We look forward to talking to you real soon. Welcome to this quick tour of the Thanks.io dashboard. When you first log in, you'll see all your stats and metrics right here, as well as the information about all the sends you've made. Let's take a look at the card we send out automatically right now, one of them that we send in our campaign. And one thing I'd like to point out is that we do show you the total scans and tracking on any QR codes that you're automatically adding to your sends, which is a really cool new feature as I record this video. We'll preview the card here. You can see there's the front side image and here's the uh, back side messaging with the font. Now keep in mind you can choose the font here. You can also choose the color of the font and there's our scan me QR code that you can optionally add and route people anywhere you want to kind of uh, generate more results and measure those results. So this is the main dashboard page where you'll see all your stats. Now the next uh, page I'd like to draw your attention to is our mailing list page right here. So we'll click on that. And you'll see here I've got a lot of different test messages and mailing lists here. As you add mailing lists, they'll show up right here. If I go up, up to the right side where it says add list, you'll see a number of different ways to get people into the Thanks.io system. You can upload from CSV. You can just manually add addresses one at a time. We have a map list builder. It's really cool. You just drop a pin. Uh, very easy to use. You draw on a map and it'll kind of build you a mailing list of people in any geographic area. We have a very, very cool uh, mailing list builder. I want to show you that. If I go to buy leads here, you can do individuals or businesses and get very demographically targeted uh, and build build mailing lists and buy mailing lists here in the system. Uh, records for residential are 9.9 .9 cents each. You only pay one time. You can mail to them as many times as you want and get very, very targeted uh, with your list. Going back here to the mailing list options, we also have the ability to create retargeting lists where you can uh, put people who visit your website onto a list if they allow you to add an address uh, and you can also create lists that are be where people are added via Zapier and in fact you can add people via Zapier.com or through our API to any list that you upload so if, say you upload it from a CSV you could just use Zapier to add people to that list as well but don't get we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here that's a little more advanced and we're happy to help you with those kinds of integrations if you want the help so that's our mailing list options right there next I'm going to go to the message templates options you'll see all your pre previously created messages right here. I'm going to click add message at the top right. You'll notice here you have your different types of sense. So we have postcards, letters, and note cards. You're going to name your message template and then you'll see here the handwriting styles you can choose from. We also have international fonts alongside our different font types right here. Now to change the color, that's going to be up in the settings. If you do want to change the color, uh, I do believe by, by default it's either blue or black, but you can change to purple and red. There's a few other options there. Now here in the middle here, as we create our message, you'll also notice this is where you're going to put in your QR code. So if you're offering a promo code or you want people to go back to a landing page or a website or something of that nature and you want to track it, uh, this will add the code to your message. So just for uh, demo's sake, I'm going to put our URL in there, thanks.io. And we're going to do a test message here. We'll type in right there very quickly. Uh, notice the merge codes right here. You can put merge codes into the system. So uh, if you have, uh, say, the first name or you have some custom fields that you imported in or that you're pushing in from Zapier, you can merge that information into your card. And you see here as it refreshed, we have the font and we also have the scan code right there. So building messages is pretty straightforward. You just use this page, you build your messages, uh, and then we have our image templates right here. So we go to our image templates page, you'll see all your old ones. They are separated by postcards. I'll scroll down here. I have some funny ones in here. Letters and note cards down here. Um, and uh, what you can do to get uh, images into the system is you can either just design and upload your own. So that is, uh, I believe, 1275 by 875. I probably got that wrong. 1875 by 1275. But there is a, an ideal size, but you can pretty much upload any size image and put it here. Uh, but it's roughly uh, those dimensions. And I do believe it tells you when you click upload. Let's take a look. Yeah, it'll tell you right here. 1875 by 1275. Uh, you can design a postcard using our built-in Canva um, uh, integration, which is actually probably the most popular way that our users do design cards. They just go ahead and click OK. They pop on into Canva and they are good to go right here and can start designing and automatically pushing uh, things into the Thanks Thanks.io system designs. And, and then we also offer a done for you design uh, service. If you want our designers to design you a campaign and a car, you can hit that button and let us know. Now, now that we've got our mailing list set up, message templates, and image templates set up. 
you've got the basics and the ability to get things out in the mail. But before I show you a send, I do want to show you our campaigns feature because this is where uh, it gets very, very, very interesting with thanks.io. So I'm going to click on campaigns and I'll show you a very simple campaign that we use internally uh, to re-engage people. We basically retarget with postal mail, right? Uh, who come to our homepage. They either allow us to retarget them, allow address, or they just request a sample. And you'll see here I'm sending a uh, note card sample and a QR thanks sample. And I've got this set up. One of them goes out one day after and one goes out two days after. So basically think of campaigns as uh, similar to being drip email where you can over time gradually call your customers, your leads, whoever it might be, or even your friends and family if you want, just uh, do touches strategically on specific dates. So you would pick the mailing list right here, right? You say anybody added to this mailing list, that's kind of what drives it, right? And then you select the message template and an image template and you say, hey, I want this to go out uh, three days after they're added to the list. Now, the other thing you can do is you can send automatically on birthdays. If you're importing people's birthdays and putting them into the system, you can send an automatic birthday card. You can also send automatic Christmas cards or any number of different holidays as you see me scrolling on the screen here. You can send those automatically to people in your list or you can pick uh, a day of the month or a day of the year. Say you need to do an invoice or something every month or you have something that happens for your business every year and you just want to send out a campaign auto magically you can do that right there through our campaigns features so uh, keep in mind uh, this is where the power of thanks that I own automation come into play and remember that you can be zipping people onto mailing lists say from your CRM or, or shopping cart system uh, via zapier.com or the API and then have these campaigns take over to the point where you're not even logging into thanks.io you just come in here and kind of set it and forget it we're happy to do that do the work for you if you want but you set it and forget it you link us up uh, to whatever you're doing and you just have direct mail added to your marketing funnel very very painlessly so the last thing I want to show you we have some other options but I'll let you just click around and check these out we have our integrations page uh, you can do some some other options here but you can figure that stuff out you've got the basics so far the last thing that I'll show you is just our send now uh, option which is kind of a wizard that would get all the things I just showed you done so if we click the send now I can pick the type of campaign I want to do let's pick one of our note cards I can pick an image I've used in the past or a handful of thank yous like this I can click continue I can choose one of my message templates or create a note a new one on the fly so I've just popped this one in you'll see it render on the right side there we go I can click continue uh, let's say that I want to use either an existing list or let's just say I'm going to use the map tool and I'll go here and drop a square, boom, like that, save and continue, right? And I got my return address going, and you can see just like that, I can get a campaign out in the mail using the wizard very, very, very quickly. So you don't necessarily, I'm gonna click back to Dash here, you don't necessarily need to build everything piecemeal right here. Uh, you could just use the send now, but I like to show you kind of the nuts and bolts of how campaigns are constructed. And it's basically mailing list, message template, image template, and then you can use uh, automation to push people onto campaigns, or you could just use the wizard if you want. Now, all that said, we don't want you to be overwhelmed. Remember, uh, somewhere near this video, somewhere uh, near the page, we always have our uh, support widget. You could just reach out and say, hey guys, uh, I don't have time for this. Uh, here's my CRM system. Here's my shopping cart system. Would you do me a favor? Could you design me a campaign? It'll make me money, uh, you know, and just let us know. And we, we can usually do it, you know, depending on what you're selling, there's an appropriate offer. Maybe you want to ask for reviews or you want to, um, uh, just offer promo codes or you just want to say a simple thank you. We can get it designed for you. Don't let uh, the kind of uh, time that you need to spend to get this done get in your way because we're happy to get it get it done for you. You just need to let us know. So there you go. Quick tour of the Thanks.io dashboard. If you haven't done so already, go over to Thanks.io. Uh, pop your email in the box on the homepage, www.thanks.io. Pop your box uh, into whatever, pop your email to whatever box we have going there. You'll get 10 free credits so you can send yourself some samples, kick the tires, play around. And again, just reach out. There's the thing down there at the bottom right. There's our little chat button. Just reach out. Tell us about your business. Tell us what you want to do. And we'll help you get going here at thanks.io.